Your heart has a brain of its own, and Islam knew it first. Please tell me you're not serious. Discovered every human heart, about 40, approximately 40,000 or so specialized cells configured in a way that creates a neural network in the heart. So your heart has neural pathways, and we can even see what it looks like now. These cells think independently of the cranial brain. Allah says in the Quran, they have hearts wherewith they do not understand. Alhamdulillah, the book is perfect, and it's nice to see science catching up from time to time, Alhamdulillah. The heart does not have a brain, nor is it capable of any sort of cognitive functions. The guy speaking here is Greg Braden, who's a New Age author that spews nothing but pseudoscience. Not a single legitimate scientist takes anything this guy says seriously. What he's referring to here is the intrinsic cardiac nervous system discovered by Dr. Armour in 1991. It is sometimes metaphorically referred to as the little brain in the heart. As this network of neurons allows the heart to function interdependently of the cranial brain, regulating physiological activities such as heart rate, heart rhythm, and contraction strength. It functions as a local feedback loop within the heart. It does not possess cognitive abilities or consciousness like the brain in the head. It's not capable of thinking or registering thoughts and emotions. On top of that, a ton of civilizations way before Muhammad have thought that consciousness originated from the heart. Like the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Greeks, and the ancient Chinese. Muslims, please stop embarrassing yourselves with these silly claims.